From Washington, this is VOA News. Iraq's government claims it is fighting back against an Islamist assault. And Cambodian workers flee Thailand after its recent military coup. I'm Michael Lippin, reporting from Washington. Iraqi government forces carried out airstrikes on Thursday against fighters from the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. The militant group seized several cities from the Iraqi government this week in an offensive that has caused alarm across the world. Henry Ridgewell has the latest on the Iraqi government's fight back. Iraq's going to need more help. Uh, it's going to need more help from us, and it's going to need more help from the international community. So my team is working uh, around the clock to identify how we can uh, provide uh, the most effective assistance to them. Uh, I don't rule out anything uh, because we do have a stake in making sure that these jihadists are not getting a permanent foothold uh, in either Iraq uh, or Syria, for that matter. Well, that was U.S. President Barack Obama giving his reaction to the Islamist gains in Iraq. And now let's take you to that report that we mentioned earlier. Fighters from the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant are within 100 kilometers of Baghdad, having taken control of several towns and cities in northern Iraq in recent days. Iraqi army units have abandoned their posts and fled ahead of the militants' advance. But speaking Thursday, Iraq's foreign minister, Hoshiar Zebari, insisted that ISIL forces had been halted north of the capital. The situation started to be reversed and uh, Iraqi security forces have managed to reorganize and to push them back. ISIL grew out of al-Qaeda in Iraq. Their stated aim is to create a single Sunni Islamic state across the region. Baghdad's hope is that the militants' advance can be quickly halted. If it fails, the consequences could be felt across the region. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London. Well, the UN Security Council held a closed meeting on the situation in Iraq on Thursday. Afterward, it issued a statement through Russia's ambassador saying council members are united in expressing support to the government and people of Iraq in their fight against terrorism. The Security Council also said all actions taken in Iraq should comply with international humanitarian law and human rights standards. In Cambodia, officials say thousands of Cambodian workers have fled Thailand since last month's military coup in Bangkok. The officials say some of the Cambodian workers have been forced out, while others are fleeing. A coordinator for the rights group Ad Hoc told VOA's Khmer Service that many of those returning to Cambodia were mistreated in Thailand. Sum Chan Ki said Cambodian workers complained that middlemen took their money and accused Thai troops of physically abusing them. An estimated 400,000 Cambodians worked in Thailand both legally and illegally. A Thai spokesman recently said illegal workers in Thailand represent a threat to the country. Sierra Leone has declared a state of emergency in a district where the deadly Ebola virus is spreading. The government announced the closure of schools, movie theaters, nightclubs and trade fairs in the eastern district of Kailahun late Wednesday. The Sierra Leone government said Ebola has claimed 16 lives in the country. Elsewhere in West Africa, the spread of Ebola has slowed in Guinea and stopped in Liberia, where health authorities isolated patients and warned the public to avoid direct contact with Ebola victims. Well, Brazil has made a first step towards its goal of winning the World Cup, but the host country needed a bit of help from the referees. After falling behind 1-0 to underdog Croatia in the 11th minute, 
Brazil recovered to win 3-1 in the opening game of the World Cup on Thursday in Sao Paulo. Here is a taste of how Brazilian fans in Rio de Janeiro celebrated the victory. Well, Brazilian superstar Neymar scored two goals, one of them on a penalty kick, and his teammate Oscar added a third in injury time. Neymar's penalty kick gave the home team a 2-1 lead, but it came after a call uh, and a controversial call in the 71st minute when Brazil's Fred fell down in the area under what appeared to be light contact with a Croatian player. I'm Michael Lippin reporting for VOA in Washington. That's the latest world news from VOA.